Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming an anti haul. So this is like part of my like no by January or whatever it's called. Um, I first um, seen this idea that Amy Lynn did it. So shout out to you. I'll have her um, channel. I'll have her channel linked down below. But um, I haven't actually seen this before, and I thought it was like a cool idea. So I only picked a few products. I'm kind of the person who would feel bad giving like bad reviews. It's not a bad review because I haven't tried it. Like I don't know if it's, it could be amazing, it could be the best thing ever. So I kind of, I feel bad already for the like, the brands and stuff. Like saying bad stuff about Palace that I've never even tried. But um, okay, so I have about, I think I have 10 things, 10 items here. Most of them are palettes just because like you can I feel like with palettes you either want it or you don't want it. Like with the mascara you'll be like oh do I need it? You, like you can see the results of it but with just looking at a, and like an eyeshadow palette we can kind of say do you want it or do you don't want it like instantly. So I went onto the website Beauty Bay. Beauty Bay for if you're not in the UK or whatever. I don't know where it supplies to you but it's the UK and Ireland. It just basically stocks brands. So um, there's a brand here called Store. I have my phone by the way because I'm going to show you the products. I'm probably going to put them on screen. So there's a brand here called Storybooks Comedics and I've never even heard of that before but um, I've seen their palette and it's called the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory palette. So just like first of all I think the Storybooks Comedics is like such a cute brand. I love the name and I love their concept of having like books, you know, just even it's makeup, it's not books, but I feel like it, it will kind of, I don't know, it's just a cute idea. So the palette is, I'm going to pop a picture on the screen. I think it's a pretty, the packaging is so cute. It is so the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, like if you have watched the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory or like read the book, you know what's going on here. I love the packaging. Why I wouldn't buy this is because of the price. It's fifty two sixty, and I think that's kind of a bit ridiculous for twelve shades. I mean, like with the like, I mean, like with like Morphe palettes or whatever, you get like so many different shades, so many different shade ranges, and that they're like super cheap. They're like twenty six euro, and I think for like twelve shades, it's a bit ridiculous. Um. I would normally like buy, if I liked a palette and it was 52 euro, I would buy it. Like if it was Anastasia Beverly Hills, I would buy it. But why I wouldn't buy this one is because it has like an orange, it has a red, it has a yellow, it has a pink. And they don't go together. Like I know that you could use browns and you could like mix them in together. But like realistically, you like you wouldn't really have an everyday look unless you just used browns. And you just, you wouldn't really be able to like make a lot of looks from this just because the colours are so like abstract or whatever. So that's my reasoning behind, behind um, why I wouldn't buy that palette. I have, just putting it out there, I haven't, I haven't ever, I, just putting it out there, I haven't even tried any of the Storybook Cosmetics. It could be the best brand in the world and so I'm sorry. The next. The next brand that I'm going to be talking about is L-U-N-A-T-I-C-K, so I'm not sure how you want to pronounce that, Luna Takic, I don't know, Cosmetics Labs, so that's the brand. And this is the Supernatural Eyeshadow Palette. This is 33.90 and it has five shades and for the complete opposite, opposite reason for the last palette, I wouldn't buy this one just because they're all super super similar shades. You can get this in every single other palette. Like they're such common shades. Um, I like the packaging of it. It's kind of like shaped in a coffin. And it's very Halloween-y. But like the the palette colours aren't hot. Like I mean like the eyeshadow pans in it aren't really Halloween-y at all. I would like consider this with like February for Valentine's Day or like summer. They're like not... They're not like Halloween-y at all, so I think the vibes are really weird. Um, and I just think you can get these colours in like almost every other palette. Like if you look at like Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, the Modern Racing palette, like you can get all these shades in it and even more. So that's why I wouldn't purchase that one. 
The next thing is also from the storybook semantics and this is the gun metal wizard wall makeup brush set. And this is basically makeup brushes that are wizard wands. If you were actually look these are also 50 to 60, but if you're actually looking for these, these have they have like really similar ones in Harry Potter versions, which is like basically the same thing. Harry Potter makeup brushes in Primark at the moment, but I feel like Makeup brushes are just makeup brushes. You're just getting five makeup brushes for your eyes that are all kind of similar for like 50 to 60. So I just think it's not worth it. I still, I'm gonna say I really love like the creativity of the, this brand, but I just don't think, I, I, like, I just don't think I would pay 50 to 60 for five eyeshadow brushes. Um, the next product is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Palette, so this is 55 euro. Um, I don't think I'd buy it just because, I mean it is good, like I don't really like lip palettes, like I love to have a lipstick, I love to bring in my ha palette in my handbag and stuff, but I feel like the texture of like lip palettes are just weird, like the texture of the lip gloss or whatever in them. It's a bit weird and also like there's like really weird shades in here like there's a there's like a bright red, there's a bright yellow, bright blue, there's really dark brown tones and there's a white one. I just don't, I, I just don't think that's necessary like why would you put them in a lip palette. Um, the next thing I'm going to talk about is Ofra. I've never tried anything from Ofra so I don't know but it's supposed to be a really good brand or whatever. Um, this is the wet and dry foundation and it's 1870. I just, I wouldn't buy this just because like the wet and dry foundation, like uh, what it actually is this? Like I wouldn't like with this product, I wouldn't like look at it and be like, oh my God, I need this. So I just, I don't know. And does it come in three colors or is it just like, what's the story here? Like I am not sure. So. I'll move on to the next one anyway. So the next one is um, a Zoeva palette for 20 euro and 40 cent. And this is the Caramel, not even gonna try and pronounce that, Melang, Melang palette. And yeah, it's 20 euro and 40 cent. So I've never tried anything from Zoeva either. These are just brands that, I don't know, I've just completely like missed. I just haven't tried them at all. Um, this is a palette that has mostly brown shades in it and light shades. This would be a good everyday palette, but I feel like even in an everyday palette, you're still gonna want like more color or something. There's just so many browns in it and I just wouldn't buy it just because there's browns in every single eyeshadow palette and to buy an eyeshadow palette that is just mostly browns seems pointless to me, even though it is cheap and so we were supposed to have really good quality eyeshadow, like eyeshadows, but I still wouldn't buy a palette that was just brown shades. I feel like you couldn't create much looks for them at all. Um. So the next, so the next product is from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I have never tried anything from Jeffree Star Cosmetics either. Um. This is the lipstick lip. Liquid lipstick holiday collection and this is 1870. I'm not sure if you like get all of them in the collection, maybe, or if you just get one, but it's 1870 and it, there's a purple, blue, yellow, red and like brownie colour. Um, for Jeffree Star, this is a good price, I think, if you're getting them. I don't know, like are you getting one product or are you getting loads? I have no idea to be honest, but for one lipstick, for 1870, I probably wouldn't pay it for them all. I'd be more likely to pay it, but I don't think I would because I wouldn't use the purple, I wouldn't use the blue, and I wouldn't use the yellow. So I'd be only using two shades, and I really rarely, rarely ever use red sh like wear red shades. So I'd only ever be I'd only be using like the last shade. So I don't think I'd. Um. Okay, so the next product is also from Jeffree Star, and it's also lipsticks. The product I last talked about must be just one lipstick because this one is the family bundle and it's 8180 for like a house of like six lipsticks. This also has a blue, pink and then two brownie shades, an orange and a red. So I'm 
I'm thinking that you're gonna get this all for 81. I think this is a crazy price for lipsticks. I don't know who would pay 81 80 for six lipsticks. Not me. The packaging is cute how it's in like a house. Um, but when I get packaging, I like it, I love it. I take pictures of it and then I just throw it out. So, you know, and I wouldn't really wear, I wouldn't wear like three or four out of these six shades. So I just wouldn't buy it. But I still think that it's like a crazy price. Um, the next product is from Too Faced and this is the White Peach Palette and this is $45. Um, I think I wouldn't buy this. I haven't tried any Too Faced like eyeshadows but I wouldn't. They could be the best in the world, whatever. But I don't think I'd buy this just because it has so much like white peachy shades like as in like peach cream like no colour to it. Um, the only really colour to it is the shade Glistening Peach and Passion Peach, which is like the middle right and then the, the, the far bottom, I mean the middle left, far bottom right. And to be honest, for Peach Passion, like the one right at the corner, I wouldn't get that just because, like I wouldn't really wear it that much unless you were going for like a Christmas Eve look or going out with your friends. So I just think this palette is kind of you'd buy it and you wouldn't use it that much because you can't really use it so um yeah that's um yeah that's why i wouldn't buy this palette the next palette is also from Too Faced and this is the chocolate gold eyeshadow palette um this is a really pretty palette um i'd be more inclined to get this one than the last Too Faced one but i don't think i'd get this one just because it's purely all glitter and i might sound really lazy but like having to, I know this is like, they're all supposed to be this way, but I don't think I would want to get this palette and then have to like, use like, you know, start off my eye with a different palette and then use another one and then go back to this palette just to use one glittery shade. Um, especially if you're traveling and you're like, or like going somewhere, you're not, realistically, you're not gonna bring two palettes. You're just gonna bring the one that has everything in it. So I think for $49, this just isn't worth it. There are some really, really pretty shades though. But um, it's a really Christmassy palette, isn't it? It's such a Christmassy palette. But I wouldn't, I think it's just because of that green in the corner. It just looks like a Christmas tree. And the gold right beside it, like, complements it. So I just don't think I'd get this one just because you've, you'd have to use it with another palette. And that's a lot of effort. Um, so that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I really feel bad doing this because I hate like fashion brands and stuff, but it's just It's really interesting to see like for like smaller channels and stuff like why you wouldn't buy their products or like why you wouldn't buy certain products But for the rest of these products that I have tried which is like Too Faced and stuff and Anastasia Beverly Hills I really do love all their products and I really want to like get loads of other products but it's just these ones that I just wouldn't be inclined to buy. Um, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you. I'll see you very soon for a brand new video.